starter and now I hook up the positive of the battery to the positive here and negative to this one here and I'm going to touch the block of this uh, starter and hopefully the starter will turn oops it did not turn it just sparks Not sure what's going on here. Okay, I have the positive here and the negative to this uh, body of the motor. So I'm gonna tap. I'm gonna tap the. I'm gonna tap the uh, motor now because it will spin. Yeah, see, it's spinning, starting motor spinning. Good. So it sounds like I fixed it. Okay, I just cleaned the starting motor, and here is how you test. Connect the negative to here or to the body of the uh, motor. If you don't have this here, you can attach to here or here. That's the negative because this is the body of the uh, starting motor and uh, to the negative of the battery. This is the positive of the battery which you uh, want to, um, yeah, which you want to tap. This is the battery. This is the positive of the battery, which I just cleaned. Look, and it's gonna work now. You don't want to make this turn more than five seconds. And by the way, this uh, starting motor, oh, I just burned it because I just shorted uh, my starting motor because now that was the positive um, touching. The, that was because the body of the trolling motor is not trolling motor. The starting motor is now all uh, energized with negative uh, volts. So here is the positive which will turn that uh, starting motor. Look, you don't want to touch that positive. This is a positive, positive uh, terminal of the starting motor. It will energize the starting motor to turn. Whoops. I hope I didn't burn the starting motor with that. Um, because I just fixed it. positive of the starting motor and that's black wire to the black which is the negative so I'm gonna jump this starting motor hopefully the starting motor will turn nope nope shorted it, shorted it. so I have to uh, open it up again and fix it still be me still be me because I uh, touched that uh, accidentally touched this uh, negative uh,